Hello everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today in this one we're going to take a look at the cornerless piston tape. Alright, so as you can see we are in a heavenly room on the sky and over here we have a bunch of wool blocks that I want to move without any spacing. So what we're going to do is press this button and as you can see all of these are going to be changing their positions. So as you can see all of these blocks are going to be moved just like this. Alright, so as you can see, when you press the button, the blocks move in this kind of pattern and they will be swapped and the piston tape will move all of these blocks and we have no spacing in all of these pistons. Alright, so as you can see, this is the rest behind this thing and uh, it's fairly simple. As you can see, it's very compact. It only occupies the area that the pistons are occupying. As you can see, when you press this button, all the blocks cycle through just like this. So what happens is this piston is going to be pushed, pushing these blocks and this one comes over here. This piston will push it over here and then it will come back into the tape by this piston over here. You can see that happening just like this. And there we go. Alright, so you're gonna start off by placing all the pistons in this sort of a manner. And make sure that the one over on the top left is going to be a sticky one. And what you want to do is just place all of your pistons and uh, make it of your side size and then we're gonna start. So these are going to be all the blocks that are going to be in your piston tape. Firstly what you want to do is come over here, place the rest of dust over there, a block and then blocks just like this, a dropper and then a hopper facing into the dropper, add a dry item in the hopper just like this which should flow into the dropper. Place a competitor facing into a repeater set to three ticks and then come over here place a, a competitor going into the piston just like this and then just add a block over there now what you want to do is place a redstone dust over there and then add a block over here and a repeater on top and just add a lot of blocks just like this and then place redstone dust going like this Place a repeater going into a block and then set this repeater to two ticks and then a redstone dust right over there. Now what you want to do is come over here, place the, some blocks, add redstone just like this going into a block right over here. We're going to be placing two repeaters, one set to four ticks and another one set to two ticks. Now what you want to do is take a block, a block over there, a repeater and then place a block rest and dust on top and then another block over here repeater set to two ticks and then another block just like this so now this whole system should be functional when you press this button as you can see all of the blocks are going to be swapped alright so set this repeater to three ticks it should be on three ticks and now the whole system is functional as you can see all of the blocks are going to be cycled through just like that Alright, so that was the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.